Algerian activist sentenced to 10, year in, 10 years of imprisonment for, quote, inciting atheism. M. Algerian anti-government access a activist um, Yassine Mabarki has been sentenced to 10 years of imprisonment and fined over 10 million Algerian dinar, which is roughly um, 77,000 USD, for, quote, inciting atheism, offending or denigrating the dogma and precepts of Islam, and, quote, undermining national unity. This is the most severe sentencing to be handed down to peaceful protesters since the, since the anti-government overreach protests began in February of 2019 and is part of a larger escalating crackdown on activists, op opposition figures, and journalists. The charges of inciting atheism likely come from a copy of the Quran that was found with a page ripped during a raid on his home last month. There is no evidence that Mabarki himself is an atheist. Wait, so he didn't even declare atheism and did like, oh, we found pages of Quran ripped in your home and therefore you're an atheist? Well, based on what I was able to find about this case, I have not, thus far, I have not been able to find anything where he self-identifies as an atheist. Um, it's been reported that this charge likely stems from when they raided his house, they found a Quran that had, the way it was phrased, it sounded like a single page ripped. Now, also, what I read said that it's likely because it is um, an old copy that was handed down to him by his father. Oh, was it that time? Is it you that go, time? You, you, you go ahead. I'm just going to... Guys, oh. trigger alert. While Susanna continues, I'm tri doing a trigger alert for any Muslims watching. No, wait, Susanna. Before, we have to do the trigger alert before we do it, okay? This is the trigger I'm alert. If you're a Muslim, if you get hurt by this... We're going to be ripping. We're going to do nasty things to the Quran. Okay, but go on. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so that's my understanding um, is that we have no confirmation that this is actually true. Oh, is it that time? Yes, it's that time. Every time somebody gets arrested for desecrating the Quran, we're gonna desecrate the Quran. All right, Muslim watchers, if you if we're ba we're not gonna desecrate it, you can come back. It's okay. It's okay. Come back. Come back. You can watch us again. All right. Um, by the way, yeah, don't tell us that we're hurting anyone's feelings or anybody. We already gave people enough warning to look away. Okay. All right. <laughs> Entirely. <laughs> So my thought is that a lot of this might be that he's just a Hirak, uh, Hirak I'm not sure exactly how you say it, uh, activist. Mm -hmm. um, I also noticed he was holding up a Berber flag in the picture. There was a Berber flag, so he's probably Berber. I don't know if that was him, but I saw the Berber flag. Berber symbol. Um, so I, I, my feeling is it, it it may not have anything to do with the Quran. It may have to do with the activism, a uh, political activism, um, and um, the struggle against uh, you, you know um, the regime in Algeria and then Morocco mm -hmm. that had this whole movement too in the reef in the atlas mountains so um it's a struggle so it like it it kind of it means it's a system a struggle to overcome domination a thing for which there is a struggle something that you want to seize which is your freedom your power take it back so a lot of these um uh people are pretty anti you know these Hirak activists this. I mean, we've had some really bad things happen to people in Morocco who are mm -hmm. also activists in this. Some of it, you know, supposedly they've done terrible things, and some of it you hear, well, no, this is all trumped up. So you you, you really don't know, but my feeling is that um, is that it's pro I mean, I could be wrong, but my guess is that this is just a way to shut him down for whatever else he's talking about. 
Is there any way we could escalate this, bring attention to it, anything we can do? Any, Susanna? Well, we're bringing attention to it right now. Um, right. I'm waiting to see how this develops. I mean, he's already been sentenced. That's part of the problem. Right. Um, but I think you are correct in that this is something that they just used to um, imprison this person. It sounds like the evidence is extremely flimsy, and his defense is that this is a <clears throat> copy of the Quran that was handed down to him by his father. It's an old book. It's worn down. Mm. Um, it's not even allegedly desecrated. So... Um, I'm not familiar with the um, Algerian uh, government's process or what if, if pe appeals are available, but hopefully so. And they're basically like a military junta, you know, to, yeah. to a degree. And, that, and the Iraq movement is really grassroots. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's something that, you know, people in power are not usually about. You know, in Morocco, there was a guy who... Um, you know, was sentenced to 20 years in prison and he sewed his lips together in protest, supposedly, you know, one of these activists. Um, in Algerian, again, it has this sort of, you know, grassroots, nationwide uprising against the police state, you know, that they, they seemed like they're really trying to tame. And so this is a good way, especially if you have a religious group of people, they could say, oh, he's not really, you know, an activist who's trying to make things better. He's just some horrible Murtad, you know, or... You Murtad know, meaning infidel. Yeah, Don't or pretend. apostate, yeah. or yeah. Right. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah. You, we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even you know, people are like no we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no nah, we don't think you want this they're like no please show it to us we say to you we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no we think we know what's better for you than you yourself so to solve that Link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore, but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 